Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft 1.13. This is the new title screen. This is Minecraft 1.13 Pre-2. Pre-release number 2. Nothing's animated back there, but look at this. Look at all the underwater stuff. This is pretty exciting. Made in Sweden. Uh, I'm not going to start playing Minecraft 1.13 Pre-2. Uh, there, there are still some bugs, um, relatively minor, and, but uh, the biggest thing, and I think I complained about this last time, is I'm not super happy with the performance. I do wish they would optimize that a little bit. Uh, pre dot two, one, pre pre release two, one of the big changes they made was the the stripped bark. They kind of reverted this texture. So if you take, if I take a log, oops. Oh, if I if I learn how to type, um, what is it called? Well, if we if we just take birch, so we have birch log. And we also have birch bark, and then we have uh, stripped birch, which looks like this. So, this is what birch looks like and has looked like. And then if you take a, if you take an ax to it, and I think there's a crafting recipe for this, you can strip off the bark off of this and make a block that is bark on all sides, which is kind of cool. You don't get the ring texture. Uh, but then they have this, what do they call this? stripped birch log so this is what happens when you strip off all the bark and they did a weird thing where they kind of put a weird texture it wasn't quite the rings but they put a weird sort of almost like a chiseled texture on all the sides and people freaked out because it was kind of lame this is actually kind of a neat block um, mainly because it's not planks stripped birch log stripped birch okay so we have planks this is the log stripped birch bark so this is the planks which you craft from this and what is this oh this is like just a pure birch texture on all sides without the rings i think this is what they implemented oh hi chicken uh this is what they implemented and and they call it something different. So now you can make everything. It's kind of cool. So if you really like the birch texture and you don't want to have to worry about getting everything arranged correctly, you don't want to worry about rings in the end, you can do this. And if you don't want the birch bark, you can strip it off. And if you don't want the, the rings, you can strip those off. Oh, multiple chickens. Hi, how are you? Anyway. Um, more importantly, <laughs> um, yeah, let's see here. Let's, uh, um, I, I wasn't super prepared for this. Okay. More importantly, they added a new crafting recipe, which is kind of awesome. So if you now take nine blocks of ice and place it in a crafting table like this you now get packed ice pop and if you take the packed ice this is not new but you can craft this blue ice and you can't go backwards with any of it so you have to make sure you know what you're doing but you can now craft packed ice which is super cool and this blue ice just it looks neat I'm not quite sure what the what the long the functional purpose of it is it's slippier it's more slippery slippery slipperier uh, than uh, than the packed ice uh, so you can do boat roads out of it I'm gonna get rid of that because it's gonna melt and we don't want that um, and neither of these melt so if you use this under roads and you and you like lay out a bunch of it and then 
put a boat on it, you go super fast. You like keep accelerating. It's pretty crazy. You go faster than you do on the packed ice. Um, and that's faster than you do on the regular ice. And the regular ice, as I said, you have to worry about it melting. So it's cool. Uh, this is awesome. Because there aren't that many places on the Minecraft LAN party server where packed ice can be found close to spawn. And I have a bunch sort of hoarded up, but mainly because it's a, a non-renewable resource. Well, now it is. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh, it's snowing. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Minecraft land party server. So this is the ice farm that I built. It's up here or by the modified Taiga Island, which is just lousy with dogs, which is kind of awesome. Um, so that's that's my portal out of here. And uh, the snow farm with, uh, I think his name is Wendell, down there, snowman. He's got to be happy right now because it's snowing. And we've got ice. And I've been hoarding ice. So we've got ice here. And then I've got like uh, shulker boxes full of ice. I've got one full shulker box of ice here and one full shulker and like four back at the base. So I've been I've been kind of up here, kind of half AFK and just trying to. I forgot that I had to do something like that. Uh, so I've just been up here. So this is a full chunk of ice. I, I guess this is one of the first uh, single chunk farms that I built. I didn't even have the concept at the time. Oh, the snow is so pretty. The snow is so pretty. Anyway, so I've been I've been hoarding ice. So uh, this one chunk. Oh, one more to go. You can freeze. You can do it. Um, this whole chunk will get me four stacks of ice. So, not quite, this next four won't quite get me enough to fill up another shulker box, but I want to hoard up some of the ice because in 1.13, I will be able to craft packed ice, which is awesome. I think I showed that a little bit earlier, uh, and so that's great. In fact, I was thinking, I was contemplating, because the packed ice situation, packed ice not being a renewable resource is a little bit frustrating, uh, even with the new sort of icebergs and whatnot that are coming in 1.13. Um, I didn't want to... I don't know. It, it's difficult getting packed ice in quantity. And there are times when it's just kind of super helpful. So I was actually thinking of taking advantage of the new 1.13 feature of sort of user user customizable or definable crafting recipes. And I was thinking about doing something where I do like I was thinking about the recipe that they ended up using nine ice makes one block of packed ice that seems fair to me it makes the blue it makes the packed ice and the blue ice kind of crazy expensive it makes the packed ice expensive it makes the blue ice crazy expensive but that's not the point so anyway cows I don't know if you just heard that, but we just had fireworks. It's the middle of June, and people are already starting in on the fireworks. It's super annoying. Please knock it off. Okay. Uh, so this was not all. Oh, it's frozen. So I'm, there's four, four stacks of ice here. Let me go get it. Four stacks of ice. Nice. And when it's snowing, of course, snow starts to accumulate on the snow blocks that I built this thing out of. But uh, that'll go away. And it's not really an effective snow farm. It is an ice farm. Woohoo! Now they'll start freezing again around the edges. Okay, that works pretty well. So I will put these away in here. Uh, so that wasn't all I wanted to show you. Um, let me, let's go. What did I want to show you? Let me figure that out. And then I will show it to you. Hello, Mr. Gast. 
Okay, the llama situation in the nether is getting a little out of hand. I don't know what's been going on. Somebody's breeding them in here or what. And it's a little frustrating because you can't even ride the darn things. Yeah. So I'm back over here at the witch farm. And there's my new house. And from a distance, it's, it's interesting how this works. From a distance, the glowstone up in the ceiling looks funny. It almost makes the roof look like it's floating. But from, a, from here, it's okay. Oh, hi, buddy. How's Bowser brushing against my leg? Hi. Uh, but, and inside, it, it's fine. I don't know, it's just kind of weird. So I haven't started really building out anything in here in terms of storage. I've got a few things. Uh, I collected some of like the glowstone and redstone from the witch farm itself and sort of stashed it in here. Um, and we'll grab that in a moment. But uh, I've, I've just got, I'm using shulker boxes in here for kind of general storage, which is not awesome. Because one of the things in 1.13 is you can place regular chests next to each other or double chests next to each other without one of them being a trap chest, which is pretty nice. And I'm kind of waiting for that uh, before we go and do a whole lot of uh, storage layout in here. Hmm. So. And I think 1.13 is coming pretty soon. I mean, pre-release, they've done two pre-releases Pre-release 2 had a few bug fixes. I think there are still a couple small bug things in there, but it's pretty, it's pretty close. So, uh, but there is something I can do before 1.13, and that is on this platform over here. Past the uh, the trees, which this was not intended to be a permanent tree farm, but it's kind of handy, so I may just keep it that way. And this, um, I am thinking of building something over here. Let's do this, and let's do this, and then let's do this. So, not the most efficient use of the platform space, but um, using my little yellow uh, space here, I will build a small uh, nether wart farm. Because I need nether wart if we're going to be doing. If we're going to be doing. Oh, uh, you know, potion brewing and whatnot. Now, my only my only thing that I'm worried about here is lighting. I know on my the carrot farm over there, I had problems with getting hydration out to everything. It's not, of course, an issue with. Whoops. Whoa. Can you not pick? Oh, hey. <laughs> 1.13 keeps changing a couple of my controls, and that's one of them, and that's the other. It keeps resetting them back to, there we go, back to default values, which are stupid. So, I, uh, I like, I have changes that I make, but every time I try one of the snapshots, it changes it. Now, it used to also change the GUI size, yeah, you know, the uh, oh, there we go. Um, now lighting. Oh, this is all light zero, which means nothing's going to be able to spawn on this. Is that a reasonable assumption? I don't know. Maybe not. But let's go ahead and plant. So as I said. 1.13, uh, I'm expecting will be out 
very soon, within weeks. I don't think they'll wait until the next Minecon Earth to to release it. I think what they'll do, since they kind of already announced that they have what they have planned for 1.14, my guess is that at Minecon Earth, the big announcement will be 1.14. And they'll get to start on whatever the changes are going to be for that. Don't know. Oops. Oh, wow, look. Bright sky, dark sky. Bright sky, dark sky. Okay. One of the changes in 1.13 that worries me a little bit is that a lot of the underwater content is uh, not going to is not going to sort of retro generate in old 1.12 worlds. So the new generation is strictly a 1.13 thing. What this means, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I think we're gonna have to do something a little bit cuckoo like going and building a huge nether tunnel out to a place where no one has explored. And that's going to be a little rough because once we got the elytras, people started exploring far and wide. So the uh, the world size is quite large on the server. And, and there's not a lot of unexplored areas for us to generate the, the new stuff like shipwrecks and, and whatnot. So it's going to be interesting. Well, let's go over this way. So that's, uh, so we may have to like build out like a new spawn point. I don't think anyone's going to be interested in resetting the server. Um, certainly there's a lot of work invested in some of the, the builds that are already done and that, those that are going on now that I don't know that everyone's gonna wanna start over. So I'm not expecting to do that. And I, you know, I just got this sweet witch farm built so hopefully hopefully we'll figure something out where we can go oh, too far outside the afk spot uh where we can just i can dig a tunnel way out in the nether like you know five ten thousand blocks out in the nether and then that puts us way way out on the map out where nobody has ever been um and that way we find a for uh, uh, oceans out there that uh, nobody nobody has seen. We'll see. Huh? Are those horses doing that kooky little dance? I think those are skeleton horses. Let's go see if the rabbits are still doing their creepy thing. Yes, they are. They're all looking off that direction. Not entirely sure why. Oh, well, some of them are. Oh, yeah. Okay, you can you can lure them with carrots. Hey, buddy. Oh, I got a rabbit's foot out of that. Nice. Okay. So anyway. I think that's it. I didn't have, I don't really have a whole lot planned. I've been a little busy with things. It's been an interesting uh, home ownership week. Um, our air conditioner has been not doing so great for the last two, three years. And we just kind of kept praying that it would get through the summer. And uh, it finally, last fall, kind of crapped out on us. And it's starting to get warm again in Los Angeles. It is June, it's summertime, or it will be It will be officially summer next week, I think. So that's, uh, we need air conditioning because of the dogs and because of me. Uh, I do not do well in the heat. So so we, we called someone out to sort of take a look at our air conditioner unit and tell us what we expected to hear, which was, yeah, it's got to be replaced. Um, it's a very old unit. We're not entirely sure when it was put in, but we suspect it was put in the 1950s. So, um, yeah, very old unit. So, and it did just given up the ghost and probably could have been repaired if there were parts available for it, but they don't make parts for it anymore because it's such an old unit. And 
The coolant that is used in it, uh, which is I think just Freon, uh, is no longer, it's sort of being phased out by the state of California. So in a couple of years, you just won't be able to get it anymore and it's getting expensive now. So that's uh, another reason why we needed to swap it out. And the new unit works really well. I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, but it was that was a bit of a hassle getting that replaced and swapping out all the vents inside the house and, and all that nonsense. And then uh, a couple months ago, there was a building behind our house that burned down, which was kind of, kind of a little bit of excitement. And then... Uh, uh, burned down and then they this past week or the week before they started tearing it down because they're going to build a new probably an apartment complex there which i'm not super thrilled with but they're uh, starting to do the the demo so they can do their construction and of course all of the rats that were living in the burned out building are, are now scampering throughout the neighborhood and one of them decided our house was where he wanted to be so at least I'm hoping it's just one. Uh, so we had a exterminator come out, and there's a there's traps in the crawl space beneath the house and the attic above the house, and you know the hot water heater, which is where we think they were getting in. The house is even older than the air conditioner unit. It's uh, the house was built in the 1920s. So there are spaces galore for the for the unwanted house guests to get in and out. And that's uh, a little frustrating. So we're probably going to have to spend some energy getting the house shored up so that they, they don't have a way of getting in and then figuring out, making sure that they're not in the house anymore, um, which I haven't heard signs of them in the last, last 12 hours. But that doesn't miss necessarily mean that they're gone for good. So got our fingers crossed and we will have to put more money into the house to <laughs> shore up all the holes because what they were telling us that if any hole that's half an inch or larger in size the half inch is what 12 millimeters so it's a it's a small little hole uh the rats can squeeze through which is insane but i've seen i've seen videos of them doing it and it is kooky and they are, um, that's what makes them such good scavengers. Whoa! We just got a new, uh, shulker box kicked out over here, it looked like. I saw the light flash on, I think, this one here. Whoa! More bottles that nobody needs. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I think that's it. Um, I think that was all that we had to show and talk about. Oh, here comes all the stuff. Woohoo! Sticks! More sticks that nobody needs. I need to refill some of these uh, some of these boxes. So anyway, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. Oh. Oh, I bet there's I bet there's flowers all the way up there too. Anyway. Uh, as I said, this is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.